On the 6th of January 2022, the Lagos State Governor, Babajide Somolu, commissioned the Tani Oladujoye Old People's Care Center at Owode Ekwe. This center, which is the first of its kind in the history of Ekwe, is a private initiative of the Tani Oladujoye family. Now, with activities at this center in full swing, we at Equal Blog are right here to take you into the center to get a feel of the center, the facilities, and its personnel. Please come with us. God helped us to build it, we commissioned it, and it's running. And it's running as expected. Okay, um, what we had in mind conceiving it is to give Medicare or Medi-Aid to the aging people for them to see doctors, specialists, to examine them, and give them prescriptions and uh, for us to give them medications and then for us to give an ambience for them to recreate, you know, rehabilitate and then enjoy themselves. It's okay, very, very okay. This place is very, very okay. The rapport of the staff is fine. They are fine. They, are, they, 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 they treat us as an elderly person, so they are okay. If I, if, if I am saying something about this uh, uh, hospital, I don't know what I can say much. But due to be praying for the, the, the person that brought it to a place, because today now, this is the first time of coming here when I had the... Uh, when I heard the news that uh, about the hospital, about the center. So by the time I came here this morning, we are welcomed in a polite manner. Those working here, so they welcome us. So they arrange it very well. So every one of us uh, enter the room, consulting room to see each doctor. So after seeing the doctor, reading the prescription drugs we are going to use for us, so now we are waiting to see pharmacists to collect our drugs. This is my first time to come, but as I come, I see everything. I thank God. I, I thank God and uh, I pray God to help the person who bring this thing. He will prosper. Anything we need in life, he will get it. Because he wants to help poor people. I want God to help the man. And you are people where they work here. Anything you want, God will give you people. The turnout was very impressive. Very, very impressed. And they used to come in. And when they come like that, they will take the cart from the reception. We issue them the card. After the, we issue them the card, we now direct them to go and see the doctor in consulting room. We have two consulting rooms. We have consulting one and consulting two. That's where they will see the doctor. After the doctor attended to them, we now direct them to the pharmacy to go and take their card and to take the drugs. After taking their drugs, they will take the, the drugs home. And we do advise them how to use their drugs because they should use it accordingly so that it will be effective for them. And we do give them two weeks appointment for follow-up and they used to come. So they've been coming in, even though at first some of them does not really believe, they see it as one of these uh, maybe government settings. When you hear them discussing, you say, that, uh, no, let's just go there because by the time they attend to one or two or three people now, they will tell you no more drugs. But um, by God's grace, they have really been surprised at what they are seeing. And uh, they've been coming every Tuesday and Thursday, and we attend to them. I can tell you that some of them got here by 4 a.m. this morning so that they can pick what they call Tali number. All right? 
So we are looking at that right now because uh, uh, our projection was that day we would have 30 patients per day. But as you would see, there's no day that the doctors uh, treated 30 from the inception. The first day, the doctors uh, treated about 65 of them. The second day, 50, 52. The third day, about 50 something. Today, as you would see, about 48 of them, you know, have been seen uh, and treated and given free medication. Okay, so it's, it's, it's going on, you know, uh, because I'm not going to say totally because it's free. I'm going to say because there's a need for it. Okay, so people would always come. One of the things that we took, we gave them, that we were giving them, is that we have taken away the stress of them going to the hospital, okay, to kill amongst hundreds of patients. We've taken away uh, from them that they are able to see doctors, they're able to explain, you know, the situation to doctors. Doctors are usually not in a hurry to see them because, and uh, because, uh, you know, fortunately, some of the doctors that we have have passion, they are very passionate, okay, about the aging people. So, they are quite receptive of them. They are quite patient with them because they have such knowledge and such experience before. The people that make this place, they are my family. Ah, Almighty Allah will be with them. Everything they lay their hands upon will be proper. The, 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 they will go higher and higher in life, they will attain the age of elderly person. They will not die young. In the name of Almighty Allah. You don't attend more than 30 or 35 because we don't want to, we don't want to rush them. So that they will not, so that they will not injure themselves. So anything from that 35, we don't attend them. We do, we do tell them to come on Thursday. And we have taken another appointment. Next appointments, at, uh, some is a, a monthly basis, some are weekly basis. So uh, after we complain to the doctor that this is what is worrying somebody. So before giving us uh, another appointment. So this uh, tiny, like, tiny old lady, the old, old, old age care, more prosper, more prosper in Allah's name. They will not come down in, in Allah's name. We don't admit them. We don't admit them. Just for them to see the doctor, attend to them and go back home. But on Saturday, we, you, we, tell them, we told them to come. For lecture, we have lecture room. They have Ludo there, they have Ayu, and some other things that can make them happy. So it, that one is on Saturday. So we used to tell them to come on Saturdays. But that Saturday that are coming, they, there's no need for them to see the doctor. Just to enjoy themselves and feel at home. And we used to give them tea to drink. And they like it. They appreciate it. The, the vision of this place is to minister, to, to give back to the society. And uh, we, we are not expected to take anything from another, will any staff try to do that. I'd like to also add that we've been getting support from people around us in here. Uh, I'd like to mention a particular uh, case of uh, a madam that just walked in, okay, retired as a nurse from uh, London. She worked on or with the aging and aged people in London, and uh, she found herself retiring to a bed. And then, uh, before now, she's been doing something that is similar to what we're doing. So, you know, getting to know this place, she just walked in and uh, offered herself as a volunteer. Okay, with all that she has, 
with all the word of experience that she's got and what she had to offer us, you know, I pushed her, pushed her, how much? And she said, no, I'm a volunteer. And uh, she's been doing that with passion and commitment, you know, beyond, beyond the call, okay? She brings stuff from her, from her house to keep this place going. So we get such support and uh, we hope we will. And she wouldn't like her name to be mentioned, but we don't know her, but God knows her. You have heard from the senior citizens and personnel right here at the Tani Oladujoye Old People's Care Center right here in Ekwe. Please share your messages and your good wishes in the comments section. From a court blog, I am Lucy Ohiri. Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all our social media platforms. Thank you.